Hey guys, today we're going to look at a new shoe pickup that I got. Uh, as you can see on the top of the box right here, you pretty much know what it is or you can read the title. So on the top of the box here we have a Jordan symbol and flight. On the right side of the box, I mean the left side of the box, we have a similar cement print. On the back of the box, we have another Air Jordan symbol and more cement print. On the right side of the box, we have some more cement print. On the front of the box, we have most of the stuff. As you can read right here, it says uh, size 11, Air Jordan 4 Retro, Black Cement Gray Fire Red, Noir, can't read that other stuff. Made in China, color code, uh, retail on these bad boys is 160 If you could find them for retail, that's pretty good. Uh, and on the front of the box, we have another Air Jordan symbol and a hole to see the shoes. Uh, taking the cover off, there's not that much stuff. Uh, the box is pretty nice actually, pretty well built. Uh, so that's it. Wrapping paper on these shoes is uh, nothing that special. Here, let's see. Oh, you can see right here, it's nothing that special, it's just um, textured wrapping paper. Onto the shoes. Actually, really excited about getting these shoes. These are the Bread Force. Came out in Black Friday. On Black Friday, actually. Hang tag. Here's a quick look at the shoe. Looks really nice. You can see right here. I still have the receipt from Foot Locker. And right here. There we have it. You have the, the shoe for <clears throat> eleven twenty three retro four blacks uh cement red hundred sixty bucks. You got one of them for hundred sixty. There you go. I won these in a sweepstakes. Um you can see my ticket right here. And I won using that ticket, which is really nice. And I was really excited about getting these shoes because I really wanted them. All right, so let's take a look at the shoes now. This is the left shoe. Um, my pair of shoes only has one deformity, which isn't that much of a It's just a scratch right here. I have, I've never worn these, so I didn't cause a scratch or anything like that. It just got up from the store like that. Not that big of a deal, but still. Would have liked it if it was perfect. So let's look at the left shoe. Everyone wants to see um, this. So I'll just give you it. Uh, there we go. Size 11. There you go. Um, Made in China. Quality on these shoes is pretty good. The new buck feels pretty good. It's not that thin. You could see right here. There you go. It's really nice. <clears throat> Not as good as the 2008 a countdown pack ones, but still pretty good. On the sole of the shoe, you can see <clears throat> the red. Bread is what these shoes are called. If you didn't know, you're, uh, you're ill-informed. <laughs> so, on the tongue of the shoe right here, it has a Jordan symbol, and it says flight. And stitched on on this little patch. Black laces on the back of the tongue. It says uh, Air Jordan upside down. <laughs> Pull tab, uh, pretty stiff, which is, uh, I like that. On the back of the shoe, it doesn't say Nike Air, it just says uh, the Jordan symbol, like uh, most of the retro fours this year. Here's a hang tag. It's not solid, it's just a piece of rubber which uh, I, I kind of don't like. The lace holes, they're pretty nice quality. They flex a little bit, but that's not that bad. <laughs> the air unit, it looks pretty much perfect. No deformities whatsoever, which is really nice. The paint on the shoe right here, 
it, I, uh, I read somewhere that it's supposed to chip, but mine has no problems right now, which I like. And it's pretty much flawless on both shoes. Uh, the new buck is pretty much the same quality all around the shoe. And it feels really nice. You can see right here it changes colors. Well, that's not a good example. Right here is a better example. It changes colors. There you go. Mesh on the shoe is pretty nice too. Pretty nice quality. Uh, the shoe itself is really nice quality. If you compare it to other kinds of shoes that came out this year from Jordan, like the Fire Reds, this is uh, better quality than those. So the sole, you can see right here, gum red. Looks really nice. I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing these shoes that often, but I don't want to mess them up. That's why I don't want to wear them that much. On the inside of the shoe right here, you can see size 11 and the Jordan symbol. Uh, they did come with a shoehorn, which is really nice. It has a Jordan symbol on it. The entire inside of the shoe is pretty much fire red, which is really nice. And that's the left shoe. Let's look at the right shoe now. Right shoe is pretty much flawless every way possible. I, I pretty much got lucky. They are stable. They don't wiggle. Well, they wiggle, they wiggle a little bit, but yeah, what do you expect? Um, this shoe is pretty much flawless. There's no uh, scratches or anything like that on it. Paint is flawless everywhere. Um, the bottom is nice. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is pretty much the unboxing of the 2012 version of the Jordan Bread 4. This is pretty much, uh, my best pickup of the year. And, um, if you guys like the video, please rate it, subscribe to me if you like to see more videos like that. I know I haven't been making videos that often, but I'm sorry, I'm just really busy with school. And, um, I'm on break now though. And um, that's pretty much the Bread Force. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Bye, guys.